Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, we're going to be covering the Love is in the Air event. It has finally dropped on Sod. I have no idea why there was a delay, um, but it is finally here. And so I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about that event. There's a lot that we're going to cover, so bear with me. I'm going to try to explain every aspect of it in detail for you guys but before we get into the video be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so the very first thing that you are going to want to do is go to an innkeeper and say let me browse your seasonal fare so you can buy a cologne bottle a perfume bottle and love tokens so I would highly recommend that you buy some love tokens we're gonna buy 40 of them just to make it easy as possible and then with the cologne and the perfume if you have a perfume bottle you will attract male NPC characters and if you have a cologne bottle you will attract female NPC characters it does not matter the gender of your character in game you can use either or. So we are going to use a cologne bottle and we are going to put it on and for 60 minutes we can then give our love tokens to NPCs. So this is a female NPC right here. We are going to use our love token on her. This one right here, um, you then use it on them. You got to find ones that do have the heart over them. And so the Guardians, the A-bombs, I believe are genderless and you can use your token. So you talk to them and you say, here, I'd like to use the token of my love and bam. So the first time that you do this every hour, you get an adored gift and you will get a pledge of adoration depending on the city that you do it in. And so this is pretty huge. And so we are going to actually turn off our auto loot so I can show you guys this and we are going to open it and so we can get a pledge of undercity unbestowed uh, friendship bracelets and a handful of rose petals so now we did not get a box of chocolates unfortunately um but it has a chance to drop those so you can have all your characters on your account just log in and do that to guards in order to get it so now we're going to do it again and give them that and we got a pledge of the under city so in order to sort of make a collection you want to uh put them all together so we got a pledge of friendship which has a pledge of loyalty so guards give pledges of loyalty and then the um the civilians will give a uh, pledge of friendship, which will give you a um, the there's like a commodity ingredient that everyone has. So you just got to sort of run around and look for NPCs with a heart over them. Um, and if they have that, you can do this. Guards give you um, cards so that you get pledges of loyalty and the cards from guards so you just got to sort of look for people with hearts over them and then you can talk to them to get the stuff and then in order to get a collection you need to get five pledges of loyalty five cards and then since we're in undercity we will get a different uh commodity ingredient in orgrimmar it's a freshly baked pie i actually don't remember what the undercity one is so hopefully we can find a female npc to sort of interact with and get the um thing but they have to be able to be clicked on and so the main reason I'm choosing Undercity to do this is because when you combine it into a collection, so once you have five pledges of loyalty, five moldy cards, and then you put them all together, you're able Be to get, um, you're able to create a box. That box gives you 30 of a type of stat. So if you do Undercity or Stormwind, it is going to give you 30 intellect if you do um if you do a different city it is going to give a different stat so orgrimmar and darnassus gives you that so as you can see we just got heartbroken so we can no longer give people love tokens which sucks but if you use a unbestowed 
uh, friendship bracelet on someone, it will uh, cure their broken heart. However, you have to find another player to do this. You cannot do it on yourself, as you saw right there. And so now we have to either wait an hour to continue our collection or find someone to use a bracelet on me. But anyway, the next thing that I want to talk about is a quest that every single person can do. So this is the fastest way to get a box of chocolates. It's a very easy quest right here. You come to Dangerous Love and then you start the quest. He wanted me to give him a pledge under city card. And then I gave Hello. him that instantly because I had my auto quester on. And then it accepted the next quest where I need to give him a cologne bottle and I need to give him a perfume bottle. And completing this quest will reward a box of chocolates wow. normally. So we're going to go here and we are going to get our perfume bottle. And then we are going to turn in this quest. We'll turn off our auto quest except just so you guys can see that because sometimes it's a little crazy fast. And then we have to go turn this quest in all the way over here at the alchemy place. You know, undead, you know, they're doing some love chemical stuff here. But the entire point of this event is to get boxes of chocolates, which have some incredibly powerful buffs. And while we're over here at uh, Sylvanas, I will show you a hidden buff that is really, really awesome. What's really weird is I'm actually not seeing box of chocolates appear on this request reward. So I'm thinking maybe they took them out and that's why the delay was there, which would be really, really unfortunate. Um, but uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that you get a stamina buff if you do this in Thunder Bluff or Iron Forge. Let's see if this guy has a... Can you bracelet me? <clears throat> Let's see. But anyway, we're here to turn this in and Embrace yeah so this chocolate. is what you get so we do get our box of chocolates so they are in there and that's awesome so we now have to go there we'll ask this guy for a bracelet maybe they will give it to us and then we can keep going because i got my heart broken unfortunate i don't think he has one and they are soul bound so i can't trade him but anyway we will uh keep going and see what else I can show you guys. I just want to complete this quest to show you the box of chocolates. Um, and then the most important thing to remember is that when you go to every leader, so essentially when you could combine all these boxes, you get all three, you can make the ultimate box gift. And then that ultimate one you give to a leader, which will be right out here with Kiwi Petalfoot. And he will give you a um, he will give you um, a buff for 200 HP, which could be really nice, especially at level 40, sort of logging in. And whatever city gets the most ultimate gifts, he will stay at that city. So there we go. We are able to uh, do that quest line, and then so we turned off our auto loot. So these boxes of chocolates are soulbound now. They used to be tradable. So now that they're soulbound, it kind of sucks. But as you can see here, we got the chocolates that will give us 44 um, healing power. We got 13 defense, and we got a hit chance by 2%. So those are all really, really good. I would have loved to get the spell power one, but unfortunately, we did not. But you don't have to continue the quest at this point. You, there's nothing more that you can get from it. And then an important thing to note is that these box of chocolates, they expire after 10 days. However, you it's 10 days of in-game time, unless they changed it. Um, I don't know, obviously with Sod, but these chocolates also share an independent 10 days time. So you can then open these, and then you can open that. We turned off our auto loot to make sure that we do not do it so you can save some of the chocolates you want. You can even take out some of the chocolates. Like for example, I don't really care about 13 defense. So I can take that out and then I can use it on myself. Now these cho box of chocolates used to not be soul bound, but as you can see, they are soul bound. So they're not tradable. And I think that's probably the biggest change that they made. Um, we'll have to see if it's still 10 game, 
10 days in-game time as well. But that's probably why the event was delayed. But here is Kiwi Petalfoot. So if you do slash kiss on him, he will give you the smitten buff, which will give you 200 health. And he is at every city. Um, you can also do this gift giving where you turn in the master horde collection gift, which you do at every single city. And that will give you all the stuff. But anyway, guys, that is it for the entire event. Unfortunately, I got heartbroken before I could get the commodity one or an entire thing to show you. But that is everything you're going to get. That is all the stuff you need. Um, whatever city is chosen, meaning whichever one gets the most gift givings, um, will be where Kiwi stays permanently. This is true for the Alliance and the Horde. It is both cities, so then you can get your slash kiss one and get your health increased by 200. He stays the entire time. So it's just a really cool, unique buff that you can do. But anyway, guys, that is it for this event. Best of luck getting all your boxes of chocolates. I truly hope it helps you out a ton. Um, this event is a lot, so I hope I did a great job of explaining everything um, to you guys. If you have any questions, anything like that, definitely drop it down below, and I will do my best to answer this. But until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.